Right, so this is about getting merit and excellence marks in rate of reaction questions. Uh, a typical question, in experiment A, Joe mixed 1 gram of magnesium grains with 100 mils of hydrochloric acid. There is much more acid than Mg and all of the Mg reacts. She measured the, and recorded the amount of hydrogen gas every 5 seconds. You can see the graph over here, the amount of hydrogen gas is the volume of hydrogen. Uh, and mills and the time there. Then she repeated the experiment. In experiment B, she warmed the acid by 10 degrees. Uh, experiment C, she used single one gram lump of magnesium instead of grains. Now you're not told instead of that, you have to read this very carefully and compare them to the old experiment. In experiment D, she used two grams of magnesium grains instead of one gram. Okay. Now you're not told it's instead of one gram, you have to spot these differences and you can get an achievement or merit mark possibly, depending on how it's asked, just simply by saying what factor was changed in each of these, which of course this one, it was the temperature change and in this one it was the surface area. Okay, you do have to be careful. Uh, in this one, it was not one of the factors that affects the rate, it was the amount that was mixed. And a typical question is to say, draw the expected result on the graph uh, for each of those experiments. Usually they only ask you to do one of them on one graph, but I'm going to do all three of them on the one graph over there. Um, now, one thing to note that in these two here, exactly the same amounts of magnesium and acid are mixed. And so the final amount of gas that is made when all of the magnesium is dissolved is going to be the same for these two experiments. The first one, the temperature is increased by 10 degrees C, so we expect it will be faster, or certainly start faster, and it will also get to the final volume faster. So somewhere up here, it's going to reach the final volume faster because the reaction rate is faster, so it actually gets uh, so a quicker rate of reaction and the reaction finishes sooner. So that one would be increased temperature experiments B. Now down here, now this is one of the ones about surface area is something special. In this case we used a single one gram lump compared with uh, grains that add up to one gram. This one has the large surface area. The acid, when you add it to grains, is going to get in all amongst the grains and start dissolving all up. Whereas with a single lump, there is just the one surface there. The surface area is smaller in a single lump. The larger the grains, the smaller the surface area. So this has got the small surface area. So you just have to be careful. It is totally logical, it's normal when you think about it. When you drop the um, sorry, small surface area, when you drop the one gram lump in, uh, it's got a small surface area. The acid can only attack from the outside and most of the magnesium is on the inside. Whereas when it's broken up into small grams, you don't have all that stuff hiding away inside. The surface area is increased. Now that also uh, so that has reduced the surface area. Making the surface area smaller is going to slow the reaction down. So we're going to have to draw a less steep curve. And also, it's going to take a lot longer for all of the magnesium to dissolve. So it's going to get to the final volume somewhere over there. Okay? And in all three of those, because you mix one gram and it all dissolves, uh, they all make the same amount. It's the same volume. I don't have no idea. I'm going to pretend it's uh, 28 mils. Okay. And in this one, that is not going to change the rate of reaction. It's pretty much going to follow the original rate of reaction. But because we use twice as much magnesium and twice as much will dissolve away, we expect the volume to go up higher. In fact, we would expect it to make twice as much gas. Okay. So. I'm just going to grab this one, and this green line 
uh, will pretty much follow the original experiment, but somewhere it's going to go over and it probably will take a bit longer, may take a bit longer. So this is experiment D, and this one here, the purple one, is experiment C. And the real um, excellence marks come from explaining all this in terms of particles. Uh, and that's where the excellence is, which I'm not going to cover in this video. I'm going to make a short video on those 